My name is Emily Swanson. I'm the Assistant Director of Career Education over at Texas Career Engagement. So we serve all students, but we also uh, specifically service the UGS students as well. So we are your career service office. And then once you transfer into another uh, college or another major, you'll have two offices at that point. So you can still come and meet with us or you can meet with your college career service office in the future too. So keep that in mind. You have many resources during your time here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna just kind of touch upon is this career decision-making model. Um, so this is just how we sort of make decisions in general, how we sort of start this process of thinking about majors and careers too. So um, as you can see, it is a circle, so there's no one right place to actually start or end, okay? It's a lifelong process, so you'll go through this more than one time. Uh, and I know you're thinking like, nope, I'm just picking one career, one major, or we're, we're done after that. Uh, but, you know, you're going to have a long career. So it is likely that at some point you're going to want to change. You may get bored with whatever job you're doing and want to sort of rethink all that as well. So you'll go through this many, many times. So um, if you get sort of acquainted with this now, it makes that process a little bit easier kind of later on. Uh, so the steps that you can kind of go through, and again, you can start at any place, you can go in reverse order, there's no specific order that really goes with this. Um, but for ease of this, you know, presentation, we're just going to start with reflection. So you really want to stop and reflect and think about who you are, what you're all about, and what you actually want out of your major or career. And so we talk a lot about our values, interests, personality, and skills. I'll go over that a little bit more later so you can get to understand what that actually is. Uh, so don't worry about that too much right now, but those are really helpful in kind of thinking about those beginning major and career ideas for you as well. So the other part here is explore. So thinking about your career options, okay? So that's most of the battle, right? I think a lot of us come into college with this thought of like, there's maybe four or five jobs kind of out there. There's doctor, teacher, lawyer, business person, you know, engineer. So this very kind of limited idea of what is actually out there. But if you think about all the jobs, all the people that you interact with on the daily, maybe not lately, but usually, you know, you interact with many, many people all day, they all have jobs, right? So think about all those kind of hidden jobs that aren't normally kind of on top of mind. Uh, so really expand your horizons and thinking about what all is out there. Um, and then you know, kind of use some different tools and we'll go over tools today of how you can sort of research and explore additional kind of majors and careers that are out there. The last kind of part here down at the bottom is experience. So this is kind of three fourths of the pie. I like to think that we learn most by doing. Right? So the more stuff that you do, the easier it is to kind of act on these decisions, to make a decision, uh, to really get out there and sort of experience it. And a lot of students, especially in UGS, sort of feel like you need to have a set plan to sort of be able to get involved with these things, especially in things like student orgs or internships. And that's not so. I actually say like get involved first. If you have an idea and you want to try it out, it's better to do that and invest a semester versus an entire four years that you dedicate to a particular major to find out you don't like it, right? So try to get involved first, try a student org, try a class, you know, try maybe an internship and see how it goes. And then that way it can help you sort of make these decisions a little bit quicker too. Okay, does so that make sense? And then that last piece is just acting on it. So making a decision, these can be baby steps. This can be saying yes to a major. This could be just ruling things out. It could be trying some of these things. So don't feel like these decisions need to be huge and sort of influence the rest of your life. It can be very small. It can be, I'm going to try this class this semester, or I'm going to just try one student org meeting and see how it goes. So I, learned, I know a lot of you are new to UGS Council, so welcome. Uh, this is a good first step for a lot of you guys. Okay, so here, there are a lot of graphics on this particular screen, um, but this is kind of the most common question that I usually get with career counseling is what can I do with this major, 
right? That's, I think when everybody is kind of coming in to talk with me, that's sort of what they open with. And that really is a fair question. I think that's one that you all probably get from your family, your friends kind of asking you like, well, what are you going to do with that particular major, right? So what I want to say though, is that usually most people and a lot of students especially come in with this idea that your major and your career, it's kind of like this ladder sort of relationship, right? You come in, you get this major, you're going to do this particular career. Some are like that. And we'll talk about what those kind of majors are and how those sort of differ. But for the majority, it's not really so. You can actually do lots of different types of majors and go into lots of different paths. So I like to think of it a little bit more as like a jungle gem, right? There's kind of this maybe one entry point, but there's lots of different exits. There's lots of different ways to kind of move around and change as you learn more about yourself and as you grow and as you test out some of those options too. So, um, you know, I just want to remind you, we have over a hundred majors, right? Kind of like, I think 114 ish now um, and think of the millions and, you know, thousands and millions of careers that are out there. There's not this like one to one sort of match for majors and careers. Okay. So keep that in mind that like, you can use many of these majors in a lot of different ways. So just kind of keep that in mind whenever you're thinking about that. No one's going to hand you, you know, a job based on that one major. They're going to sort of look at the greater package that you bring to that. Okay, so basically getting at your major not equaling your career. And we'll talk a little bit about that too. I think this gets even a little bit more confusing you know, when you think about the types of majors that there are out there. Um, and a lot of you are interested in business and CNS and communications. And the good news is that you can use those in a variety of ways. And we can definitely talk about that. And you can definitely meet with a career counselor. And we can sort of go over your particular plan for how you want to use that. But when you're looking at this, um, this is where it gets kind of complicated, okay? Because then you're taking into account UT-specific majors. Um, so here's sort of relationship that I think is pretty common at most schools, and, and we'll talk about UT specifically as well. So what kind of makes this complicated is that students sort of have this idea that your major sort of defines your career path. And there are some majors like that. They don't, you don't have to go into that particular career, but Think about things like engineering, about architecture, about nursing. You have to be in those majors in order to get the sort of specialized education needed and maybe the licensure needed in order to actually do those jobs. So we call those career defined majors. Um, however, it's very few and far between. There's very few of these actually at UT, but they are very attractive to students because it's sort of like in the name, like I know where this is going. I don't really have to think about the career path part. It's sort of, you know, it's in the name, right? Uh, I know that when I go into engineering of whatever kind, I can come out and be an engineer, right? So, so there's that part of it that makes students really wanna be in those and it makes it really, really competitive to get into those particular fields. So just something to think about too. So the next part here are career oriented majors. So these are sort of, you know, you go into those majors and you kind of presume that you'll be doing that, but you don't necessarily have to. You know, most people who get a degree in marketing or social work or PR can go into those fields, but it's not a requirement of the career that you have to have that knowledge, right? Anyone can sort of work in a business even without a business degree, right? but you can also gain skill sets from a marketing you know, major to work in a business. So it's not like a requirement per se of you to get that. So this is also sort of, you know, a lot of students getting into these competitive majors and a lot of students are, are sort of attracted to those because again, you can still sort of perceive this relationship between the major and career. Okay, so makes it a little bit more attractive. These are still, kind of difficult-ish competitive to get into. This last one 
our co-fields of study. So these are our most common majors at UT. Most of the majors at UT actually fall into this sort of realm. So things like English, things like biology, psychology, sustainability, you're learning about a specific field, but there's no like necessarily end goal in mind. So let's say you're, you know, majoring in economics, right? So you may or may not want to become an economist, right? That's not the majority of what people do whenever they go into that field, uh, generally because people don't necessarily want to go do a PhD in economics. Um, but it can be really intimidating for students to be in these majors because they don't really see like a line of, well, where does this go? Where do I take this? I like to sort of reframe, reframe that, reframe that and sort of talk about how this is an exciting sort of major to choose, right? Because you can take this anywhere. You can use these skills in whatever sort of area that you want to actually use them. So, so think more about you and how you want to use them. So I know a lot of you are probably like, okay, but how do you know, right? Like, how do you know that major doesn't equal career? Um, well, the average American has somewhere between 10 to 15 careers throughout their lifetime. So that is the average of about 12 careers. That's a lot, right? So the chances of you actually working outside of your major at some point in your life is really high, right? So you may not ever use the tools that you kind of use from your major or the skill set that you got from it. So that's just kind of the reality of, especially how American work sort of is, right? It's just, we change a lot, we change our minds a lot and that's okay. Okay, so keep that in mind that it's okay to change your mind and to try different stuff too. And not only that, but society changes over time too. So the world of work has changed a lot in the past 10 years. It's changed a lot in the past year as well, right? Things are looking completely different than what they thought they were looking like, you know, a year ago. Uh, if you take this sort of image, for example, so a cloud service specialist in 2008, there was about 195 jobs for them, okay? In 2013, that went up to 3,300. Imagine today with everybody working remotely, everybody using the internet. I mean, there's, you know, tens of thousands of cloud service specialists at this point. So keep in mind, you might be actually sort of preparing yourself for a career that doesn't exist, right? So you need to sort of pick majors and pick things that you're doing that will give you a broad set of skills that can help you stay adaptable, help you innovate and help you kind of move into the future of work too. So that's what I'm saying is, is the major part is not always the most important part. It's the skill set that you're getting that kind of helps you out with these two. So keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're thinking about choosing majors. So how do I actually figure this out? So the one thing that I want you to think of whenever you leave this today is I want you to think about what do I actually want to learn while I'm here? So I know that's a weird question, but it seems like students don't often come to college with this idea of what is it that I actually want to get out of it? Yes, I know the idea is you want to get a degree that helps you get a job and that's fine. But beyond that, what do you want to learn? You know, I want you to go back home. Well, you're already maybe home, but <laughs> I want you to think about what classes could you take or what major would you craft if you could make any major in the whole world? If it could be anything you wanted to learn, what would you want to learn all day? And I guarantee you there is a major minor certificate. There is some sort of combination of these things that exists and definitely come in and talk to me about that because that's my favorite thing is to take all these things and merge them into one sort of educational package. So keep that in mind. That's your homework for today whenever you leave here. Uh, the other thing is just learn more about yourself learn more about your values. So those things that are kind of your deal makers, your deal breakers, uh, what's important to you in a career, your interests, so what are you actually drawn to? What seems interesting to you? Uh, your personality, so who are you? How do you operate? And also your skills. So not just the things that you're good at, uh, but maybe the things that you wanna learn how to do better. What do you wanna add and what do you want to sort of gain during your time here? And then, 
you can learn more about yourself by using these couple of things. So we have Wayfinder and we have focus to career. So Wayfinder is a really great database. It has every major minor and certificate listed. Uh, you can learn more about them. You can read. Uh, so that's a really good resource for you to sort of learn more about the, the landscape of UT and what all is out there for you here. And then you can also do focus to career. So that is something that Texas Career Engagement has for you. Um, and it is a great sort of kind of assessment and it goes through your values, interests, personality and skills. And it looks at all of them and it combines them and it gives you some ideas for maybe majors or careers that you would want to do um, maybe now or maybe later. So check those out. If you wanna access Focus to Career, it's on this website and I'll send out these, these uh, PowerPoints to you so you'll have access to it. Um, it's kind of midway down the page and there's an access code and it's Longhorns. So that's all you have to do for that. Uh, and then lastly, meet with a career counselor. Again, I love talking about this stuff and kind of helping you out with it. Um, so that's what we're all here for. And so lastly, as I've already kind of said, your major isn't sort of one size fits all. Uh, I like to think of it as sort of this package. So keep in mind that major is a very small part of this package, right? It's, it's the part that you're like, well, I'm focusing a lot of time on, but there's a lot that goes into education and it's not always just what you're doing academically. So keep in mind, there are minor certificates, you can do internships, part-time work, all these things give you skills uh, and help you out sort of figuring out what you wanna be doing with your life. Uh, what are things that you enjoy? What are things that you not enjoy? Um, so, so keep this in mind that you want to sort of create your own sort of unique package uh, that's interesting to you. Okay, so, you know, instead of asking, what can I do with this major, I want you to really ask yourself, what do you want to do with that major, because that really is the more important part of it. Um, so don't feel like your major is like the make it or break it thing in your life, because you're going to figure out, thank you, Vanessa, gave me some clap for that. <laughs> um, it's, it's not your destiny. It's the thing that you're doing for the next three to four years. Um, you know, you're all going to be okay. So just like take a deep breath. Um, the degree just gets you through the door. Uh, and if you're having concerns, maybe academically visit your advisor, visit us, we'll talk through it and we'll figure out a path for you. And, and how do you want to get to where you want to be? So that's the most important part is where do you want to take this rather than you know, where, what can I do with it? Cause you can do anything. So let's more talk about what is it that you wanna be doing with it? Uh, prioritize what is interesting for you right now. Okay. And then some other ways, and I'm sure Vanessa will touch on a lot of this too, but use Wayfinder, do that research on those majors. We'll give you some major, minor and certificate sheets too. So you can see what those are all about. You can kind of narrow it down from there take a class, maybe try a certificate out, talk to people, talk with an advisor, career counselor, you have UGS ambassadors you can talk to as well um, and really see how this goes, you know, not just in theory, maybe try it out as well. Okay, um, I will send out the rest of this. We have a lot of upcoming events, but I wanna get to, to Vanessa, but we do have career peer mentor drop-ins. So if you ever want a resume reviewed really quickly, that's mostly what it's for. It's on these days. We do have a career confidence through mindfulness group. So we have a couple of career counselors who lead that. Um, and it's really great if you're feeling really nervous about majors or careers, this is a good place to check out. Um, and we have a bunch of other things kind of coming up too. And I will send those out to you as well. And if you wanna know how to sort of sign up for an appointment, just click on Hire You Texas. So that, that's all for me. 